Howdy! Welcome to Dude RV. It is November 25th, 2020. We are still in the middle of this whole crazy COVID-19 pandemic, but we're not going to let that slow us down. We're headed north. We're going to cross the Red River and pay a visit to Beaver's Bend State Park. Man, I've heard so many good things about it. We're going to go check it out. The weather is supposed to be beautiful for the next couple of days. So we're going to go see if we can catch some trout and take a deep dive into Beaver's Bend State Park. So let's get on the road and go to Beaver's Bend. Beaver's Bend. It wasn't too bad to drive, a little, little over three hours, but of course we stopped for puppy break. But as you can see, such beautiful country here in McCurtain County, Oklahoma. We're in site number 12. Now this is, this is a handicap site. This happens to be right next to the restrooms. Not that we'll need too much of that because it's a full connection got a low spot there's a lot of water so it's water in 30 and sewer lots of concrete all the way around it of course, we got the path that goes from the stables, which are right up there, to the restroom. Very flat site. I did use the yellow blocks on the back because I was I didn't know what, how solid that was. I didn't want to sink because it looks like they got lots of rain yesterday. We have a little lantern hook, fire burner fire ring, charcoal cooker, and a concrete pa patio table, concrete picnic table. We're going to have a bite of, of lunch and then we're going to go explore the park. We're going to go see some stuff. You don't want to sleep in a tent and you don't have an RV, you don't know anybody with an RV, well, fear not. There are cabins available. Those over there are duplex cabins. These are singles. And they're locked. Smoke alarm's going off, beeping in there. But anyway, maybe we can get a look at the window. Let's see. Yeah, can't really see anything. But anyway, you can stay in a cabin at Beaver's Bend. State Park, Oklahoma, has riverfront cabins. Can you believe that?
stairs going all the way down to the river. They even provide firewood, looks like. What a view. Awesome. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. There's a lot of stuff in this park to see. Down on the river, we don't have cell service. Now, we have Sprint, so we had to come up to the spillway so Yappy could take care of some business. If you come to Beaver's Bend State Park and Sprint is your cell provider, just know down on the river, you're probably not going to have service. But you can see the, you can come up to the spillway and have a good look. That's pretty cool. To camp, after finding some firewood, we dropped cell signal at the spillway. So I whipped into this little overlook of the lake to see if we could pick up cell signal. No cell signal, but a great view. Headed down to set a sunset camera. We got four little deer. Get the urge to float, to get out on the water, but you don't want to get in the water. <laughs> I've got a whole mess of canoes and kayaks for your kayaking boating pleasure although they don't seem to be open right now all right let's go see some more stuff How pretty is that? Man, look at the sun just lighting up the side of that ridge. Beaver's Bend State Park is well known for being a trout fishing location. And they've provided people that want to fish for trout with these great water access points. So you don't have to have waders to get out to the middle of the stream. There's actually a dam under the bridge. So you end up with some slower, still calm water on this side. you have it fishing at beaver's bend all right let's go see some more stuff is they're stepping up into the modern era <laughs> check this out two two new yurts under construction right on the water how cool will that be That looks like, it looks like fun. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Downstream from the, the spillway. Man, this is just so gorgeous. I'm on the dam. That's the intake for the, the power plant. 
and on the side of that concrete there it shows 640 feet 90 feet down from there is where the intake for the power plant is and I know all this because of this device right here which referred to itself as the talking rock it basically gives you an overview of Broken Bow Lake from start to finish it's 600 feet deep out there <laughs> that's a deep lake we are standing below the Broken Bow Lake power generation facility. This, this is the Broken, uh, I think they call it the generator fishing area. I don't know how that works because you would think there'd be more water coming out of there if they're generating electricity. Maybe they only spin those turbines once a day or something. I know we heard the alarm going off last night. So pretty, just love the way the sun is sparkling on the water out there. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Broken Bow Lake, Beaver's Bend State Park. So when we arrived yesterday, we stopped up there when we were going to get firewood. I thought it was only appropriate that we come down here and get up close and personal with the bottom of the spillway. According to the Talking Rock box that's over on the dam, when this lake was originally constructed, it was projected that the spillway would only ever probably be used about once every 30 years. That has since been proven to be incorrect. Then one year, they had 200 year floods happen in the same year. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Beaver's Bend State Park, man, this is one huge park right here below the Lakeview Lodge. I'm telling you, if you don't have an RV and you don't want to sleep in a tent and you're not too big on the idea of a cabin, then I don't know if you could get a better view than that right there. How awesome would that be? Hey, let's go see some more stuff. So if you're coming out to Beaver's Bend State Park and you want to stay over by Broken Bow Lake, you only have one option for your RV camping pleasure. And that's this camping loop here. And most of them are pull through sites. And quite a few of them actually are full connection they all have concrete pads that seem to be pretty level and they're they're tiered so you don't have a whole lot of obstructions to your front porch view but they're tight uh, overall the whole whole campground is is snug there's some private vendor type stuff with there's a zip line tour that goes across the lake there's a bus tour there's a marina with lots of boats uh, and there's also a boat ramp and plenty of tent camping over here uh, but you can actually jump over to the fpv playlist i, I did a drive through with the truck so that you can get a feel for this part of the, the Beaver's Bend State Park, the lakeside part of Beaver's Bend State Park. Go see some more stuff. Carson Creek, Beaver's Bend State Park. Man, talk about a cool place to camp. I, and I was wrong on the last segment where I, was, I said, if you're gonna camp on the lake, there's only one place for an RV connection. I was wrong. Carson Creek has got some, some very nice RV spots. Uh, one of the loops a little bit rough, but I definitely plan on coming back and doing a more comprehensive video on Carson Creek. Meanwhile, let's go see some more stuff.
Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, 2020. Beaver's Bend State Park. We're camped out here on the river. I'm in the Fern Campground. And yes, and yesterday, uh, I put a hook in the water, but I was really wishing that there was some place where I could launch the inflatable boat because there's not a whole lot of information, you know, on, on the internet about there's this stuff that you don't know unless I show up here. So I found actually a boat launch right right next to Fern Campground. So if you're coming into Fern Campground, go past the train depot, past the dump station, and there's a gravel road with a gate on it that says, a sign on the gate that says no camping. That just happens to be the boat launch. Now it's not much of a boat ramp, but it's more of a boat ramp than <laughs> none at all. Unfortunately, we're, we're gonna be rolling out of here t this afternoon because it's scheduled to rain for two days straight. So I'm not gonna, probably not gonna mess with the boat. But now you know, here on the, on the river, they actually have a, a fly shop. So if you don't know what, if, if you're like me and you've no clue as to fly fishing 101, and here you go. What does it cost to rent a Segway? Uh, we do uh, guided Segway tours. Guided. It's $35 a person. Okay. All right, so if you're coming to Beaver's Bend State Park and you want to get the dude RV experience, kind of, of riding Little Red, you can rent a Segway. And go, well, actually, you do a Segway tour of the park. So now you know. Beaver's Bend State Park. I've, I've been driven by this several times since we've been here, and I've just been dying to come check it out. Beaver's Bend is, State Park is not, it's not overly friendly for the people with mobility issues. Uh, yeah, they've got handicap ramps in places, but really not too friendly. Gives us an overview of the the park. So the bird blind. That's what this is. Whoa no. <laughs> That's a scary sound. That is not the kind of sound you want to hear when you walk out onto a bridge. Beaver's Bend State Park. I bet this is just that. It's gorgeous now, but I bet it is stunning during the summer. or when the, the sun is shining. <laughs> I should have come down here yesterday. All right, let's go, let's go see some more stuff. I think I'm gonna go up here and check out the restaurant. It's Bigfoot, needs a face covering. <laughs> Ah! It's Bigfoot! Ah! So at Beaver's Bend State Park, even Bigfoot eats at the restaurant. Foggies. The train is running today.
Didn't do a whole lot of fishing this this uh, visit. Of course, we're cur curtailing. We're cutting it short by a day. It's this beautiful right now, as you can see, with the sun shining as it goes down. But there is rain in the forecast. A cold front coming in tomorrow. And we're kind of tired of this uh, this site. So when we got here, we thought, yeah, this is a great site. We got the bathroom, we're right here. We, we don't have to mess with the black tank. But today, we've come to realize there are a couple of things about Beaver's Bend State Park that we really don't like. Uh, number one is there's no controlled access. I mean, you can just, anybody can drive into the park. So it, it's not like when you're in a state park, a Texas state park or a Corps of Engineer property where they close the gate in the evening so that you have some level of security. There's that. Just the sheer amount of traffic coming through this park. And we're not even in peak season. I can't imagine what it would be like here during the summer. And then there's this. So that's the only shower facility and the only flush toilets for this part of Beaver's Bend State Park. So all of the tent campers, everybody, is using this one facility, including the stables and train depot across the, the road. They actually have porta potties over there, but they've got a big sign that says public restrooms across the street. And so we've had a, an, an, an unending flow <laughs> of bathroom traffic all day, which is driving the dogs nuts. We don't want to go through a Saturday of that either. And when we arrived, our site had a standing lake of water. And so if it start, when it starts raining tomorrow, that's going to fill right back up. So we're going to pick it up, pack it in, and head home. Would I come back? Yes, I'll come back. But I won't come in the summer. And it will be a middle of the week visit. I want to be very off season so that there's fewer people here and we can have some peace and quiet. And I won't use this site again. <laughs> I'll find a, I'll, I'll, I'll pick a different site. All right, that, that's kind of the overview. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, please remember to click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. I know you want to see every episode. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I am so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. All right, with that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?